Sean Clancy here from Hummingbird Australia and we're offshore with the boys from Mo Tackle and Coffs Harbour. There's a little bit of swell rolling and a little bit of wind chop, uh, but we're out here checking out the um, Hummingbird Mega Imaging products and we're just looking for patchy bits of reefs. So um, this is where side imaging is really vital for guys offshore. If they want to hone in on some areas that maybe aren't as popular, um, they can do that by looking around with side imaging. At the moment we've got it up on megahertz, um, so we're going to get the most detail out of mega, but if we want the longest range, we actually drop it down to our 455 frequency and that'll give us a lot better range, double that range, so we can have a look over a broader area. So if we drop down to 455, we can then bring our range out. I'm going to take it out to 250 feet. Um, your time looking for the right spot is dramatically reduced by running it versus just running traditional sonar or down imaging sonar. So we're running along here, we can see on side imaging, the bottom's just sandy. We can actually still see find ripples in the sand, even though we're down on our lower frequency. Okay, so we're approaching this reef now and you can see most of the reefs out to the left of the boat. Um, so we're starting to get a bit of life, a bit of bait fish coming through on our down and uh, traditional sonar. But what I know to do now is just to steer over to the left here um, and we should go straight over that reef and then we can have a look with our traditional sonar um, and our down imaging. Traditional sonar is still vitally important in order to really get those bait fish and those predatory fish to show up. Um, so all three working together is actually the perfect scenario. Okay, so we're heading over the reef now. Um, we got, we're set out to 250 feet either side of the boat. You can see there's reef on both sides. Um, we can pick up that we're going over that reef on um, traditional sonar and down imaging. Um, so what we're gonna do now is just deploy the Altera. and then simply hit spot lock. And now we're anchored on this spot, we're not gonna move. And it's a lot more accurate than using a traditional anchor that'll swing around. You've got a lot of rope to put out, so it's very difficult to really um, hone in on a small patch of reef with, um, you know, we're in 60 feet of water, so we're probably gonna have 150 feet of rope out in order to hold on this ground. And you can see here, we're just nicely on the edge of that reef. And that's probably a really good spot for us to be positioned right on the edge between the reef and the sand. We can see we've got reef just to the left of the boat and we've got sand just to the right of the boat. So we're in an ideal situation to be able to drop some jigs down and hopefully um, target some fish sitting on the edge of that reef. We're in three screens at the moment. If we want to go to one screen in full screen, all we do is hold two fingers on the screen. That'll pull it up to full screen. Um, if we want to mark any spot, we can just hold our finger on it and mark it as a waypoint. If we want to pull that screen back down, just hold your finger on it, takes it back down. Um, if we want to move, one of the other good features, if we, we're on this reef, if we want to just move left, right, forward, back a little bit, we can use jog mode. So one of the benefits of um, this jog mode, we're in spot lock now and we've come across this um, big school of bait um, and we're just working through that. And um, the jog mode it enables us to just move around, just ease off that bait, see if there's any fish off the edges and stuff like that. So that's real handy. You're not sort of committing to an anchor and trying to just persevere. So we've come off this bait now, now we're getting some single fish coming through. So it um, looks like it's a bit better spot um, and that's where the jog mode really works as well. So here we go, nice snapper. Um, we just pulled in on this reef, obviously we saw it on side imaging, down imaging and the normal sonar. Um, using spot lock, we were holding over this um, the bait and we knew that there were some big fish. We could see some bigger fish hanging off the back and we just used that jog mode to just jog off the spot so that we were just off the bait a little bit and that's when the bigger predatory fish uh, marks started coming through on the screen and within a few minutes we were on. So unbelievable, great way to finish uh, a nice day on the water.